Hi, it's me again with CorelDraw Tips and Tricks. This video is mainly going to be for a plasma cutter. Uh, someone reached out to me that just bought Corel today to start drawing in CorelDraw for plasma cutting. He has my exact machine, my plasma cutter. I'm going to leave a link to that machine at the bottom of the video and also my email address if you ever need help. So this, when you open up Corel, it's going to look like this. This is called the welcome screen. You can get rid of it. There is some information on there. Go to File, New, right here, RGB. Have RGB selected. I've already set it for 48 by 48. Now, I know your table is 48 by 96, but very seldom you're ever going to work on a whole table, and it's just, to me, it's easier. You need to... Double click on this line here, graphic, and change this to hairline, red hairline. <clears throat> you need to change, this will come up as like a quarter inch and a quarter inch. This is your duplicate distance. Set it on zero, zero, you'll be much happier. Set your nudge factor on point zero, zero, one. Set it for inches, because I know you're in central Texas. Go to snap to and have all three of these snapped. All three of these checked. <clears throat> then you're going to set up your ruler. You're going to grab this grayed out box and bring it in and it's going to snap to there. That made your ruler start with zero, zero. It's kind of hard to tell, but let me, if I zoom in, you can see now if I bring, so <clears throat> indexing lines, pretty important. I've got it to snap to. I actually moved it after I snapped to it. Indexing lines are set at zero, zero. Now you can turn those on and off. <clears throat> so that's pretty much how to set it up the way you want it. Then go to tools, save as default, have all these checked, and hit save. Next time you open a file, <clears throat> well, let's just, let's say you're going to cut out a, a washer. I draw in the center of the page. I, I've been drawing with this art, but make sure it's set there. <clears throat> Let's put it in the center of the page, P. Let's say we're we'll make the washer two inches. If this is locked, you only have to type in the two. If this is unlocked, you can change to different sizes, but you have to put in both numbers. Now we're going to draw a washer, and we're going to draw another ellipse, I need to set that back to, yours will be a set on that. And let's make it one inch. Now see, my ratio is not locked, so I need to put in both numbers. So keep that locked. All you have to do is, well, when you're clicked on something, just lock it. It's a little lock. Then hit P. There's your washer. You got a one inch hole with a two inch washer. That's all you need to do. Put it you know, if you're just going to cut out one, put it in your corner of your bed. Put your home in there, and he knows how to do that. And get it as close as you can so you won't waste material. <clears throat> now, I'm going to make other videos on, like, how to save it as a DXF and so on and so on. But So this is part one, setting up the page. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.